Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be doing a stereo install in this 2010 Chevy Traverse. It's not just your everyday uh, stereo swap. There's some things we're going to have to do and I'll tell you about them here in just a second. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so like I said, there's some things I gotta tell you about. This has got the steering wheel controls. Um, so I gotta put a, in, an interface into this thing to make the steering wheel controls work. Now, the, uh, the stereo that I bought for her does have an extra steer, steering wheel controls that you put on the steering wheel and they'll work, but it's not going to bring back the chimes. It's not going to bring back OnStar. So in order to do that, I have to put an interface in. So there's some soldering that's going to be going on. And also it's going to have a backup camera. So we're going to have to run the backup camera. And uh, so it's not just, you know, a 20 minute. What was that? <laughs> so it's not just like a 20 minute job here. So let's go run back and kind of get an idea where we're going to put the camera because I want to run the camera first because uh, well number one you know the the stereo has to be out in order to plug the camera into the back of it and number two it's supposed to rain this afternoon We've got a 50 50 chance we're in Florida that means we're gonna get some rain so I want to get that put in first then if I have to I can sit in here and uh, put the stereo in if it is raining so um, Let's go around back here and let's see where we're going to put the camera at. Okay guys, so what I'm thinking is I want to maybe put the camera up in here somewhere. Um, I kind of want to back in a little bit so you're not, you know, bumping it and stuff with, with your legs. It does have the backup uh, sensors on it. Also, I don't know, did I mention it? It will do away with the chimes and this will bring the chimes back, you know, for uh, morning chimes and stuff like that. So I'm not sure exactly where I want to put this thing. Because this is where the license plate's going to go. Right, so if I put it back in here, I don't know, we'll just have to see. I'll have to go get it out of the box and see. And then run the wires up underneath. And then, I don't know if I can come up in here somewhere. And also, I, don't, I do not know if this thing's got rear speakers because I was doing some research online and it says that these LTs did not come with rear speakers. So if that's the case, I don't know what that was all about. The door's just locked for no reason. Oh, I might have hit the button. Um, if that's the case, hopefully at least they used a wiring harness out of the same vehicles and uh, the wires will be there. If not, I'm gonna have to run new wires or maybe I'll put an amp back here, I don't know yet. And some, some of them had speakers up in here. Uh, like I said, the LT is just kind of a, uh, kind of a base model. It's got some luxuries. It's not fully 100% loaded. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get the camera. Let's unlock these doors before I, there, before I lock myself in or out of this thing but so let me check on these and see if the speakers are in here or speaker wires are in here I'm pretty sure there's no speakers uh, which is weird because Chevy I don't know what they did Chevy's my favorite vehicle in the whole world but I don't know what they were thinking because that stereo 
is set up for fade, which is front and rear. Um, so why they would put that in there, not a couple speakers, I don't know. So let me go get the uh, let me go get the camera. It's real tiny, so it may fit where I want it to go. But like I said, and then I got to figure out where I'm going to run the camera wires. I believe I got to hook a wire into the backup into the backup lights which are up in here so I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that yet let me do some research on this thing well look around and see what's going on with it see if I can come up with any ideas because that would suck having to run my I'll have to run my coax all the way up to the front of course and then I would have to run a backup camera up in here up around here fish it through that snake it through here then into here and then down here and into the reverse lights I uh, may be able to do it from up there hook into something up there I'm not sure okay so let me go get the camera and let's see what's going on all right guys so I popped this door panel loose and over there I don't know how well you're going to see this but there is a speaker up in here Right there. Put my hand up in there. I can feel it. That is a speaker. Why is it not working? Now I heard of some some guys saying that this could be the issue up here. That plug right there. Uh, moisture or water causing that. Unplugged it and it seems to be fine. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this camera at. Uh, because I got to drill kind of a big hole. Whew, this thing's hot. This is plastic, but I really don't want to put a big gigantic hole right there. This is for the squirter for the windshield washer. Um, so I really don't want to do that if I don't have to. So... I mean, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. So, anyway, the stereo is real easy to get out of these things. I'll set you on the stand. I really wanted to get the backup camera in first. That's one of the main reasons why I got the stereo was for the backup camera. Instead of having one mounted up here or in the, in the mirror. Let me get you on a stand. Okay, so I got you zoomed in. You're outside the car, but all this involves is just uh, there's a place here you can get your fingers in. Give it a quick pop. Okay, now you're into your stereo. There's four screws here. Looks like five sixteenths, maybe eight millimeter. I'm gonna go get some tools and we're gonna pull this out. And uh, we're gonna see what's back behind here. And make sure I've got a place to put my uh, interface and all that. And then we'll get to soldering. So hang tight guys and I'll be back with you. Okay, so hopefully you can see a little bit better. Um, I'll turn this key on. And the buzzer's but or the the chime is chiming. I don't know if you can hear that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do? Where did I put my? It's in the back. Hang on. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this out. These are not five sixteenths or eight millimeter. They are seven millimeter. So. Let's go ahead and take this. I'll show you how to remove this, and then I'll show you. Uh, I'll take you in the house and show you what we we have to solder. I still don't know what I'm going to do about the the uh, the backup camera yet. I don't want to put a bunch of holes in this thing.
Okay. Uh, Monkey and her mother went to go get their nails done and their salon was closed, so they had to go to Walmart. All right, now, this back here, these will just unplug. You push a tab down right here. And they'll unplug. They're in there kind of tight. Still don't know why the uh going on with that still don't know why the rear speakers weren't working so okay let's turn the key on now we'll see if our bombers quit bombing yeah see there's no it's not bonging it's not uh like if you leave your lights on or whatever uh that chime also works on important stuff like low oil you know so i want to keep everything you know like on star is not going to work now nothing so that's why i need to put the interface on it so i'm not sure how this comes out this should just pull out um so anyway i don't think there's a Okay, I'm gonna mess with that, get that unplugged. But I still don't know why the speakers weren't working. Could be something in here. Cause it looks like these were taped up, not from the factory. That's probably an issue I'm gonna have to deal with because if that's the issue is here, I gotta sort that out because once I plug everything new into the stereo, Still not going to get rear speakers so i got to figure this out untape this and find out what's going on here because i don't think this is original because usually this kind of it's like a fuzzy tape will usually go all the way up here um this looks like hand taped stuff here so i got to get that figured out and then i'll take you in the house and i'll show you what we're going to do what we what we have to solder together to make this plug and play but since i've got an issue here uh, i'm not sure if that's going to work so i got to figure out make sure all these wires are are right it looks like maybe someone had a stereo in here stereo system in here before and had it hardwired and then took it back out and put this one back in maybe i mean that's just speculation i don't know let me figure this out I'll okay guys i don't know how much of that i got but this is what I'm coming up with there's a wire off here I'm guessing it's supposed to be up inside of here there's a wire here that has been taped up but it goes up inside of here so I don't know what's going on there I'm gonna to have to research this online and find out what them wires are for the speakers could be unhooked inside the door I don't know um, I mean, I'm moving this tape. It doesn't look like these wires were cut, so that's good. Uh, most of these, like, uh, these blue wires are speaker wires. You know, brown, brown and yellow, I believe, are speaker wires. The light green and dark green, I believe, are speaker wires. But And there should be a couple purple. There's a purple. So I don't know what's going on here, so let me go research that. Let's go in the house. It's getting hot out here. Okay, so <clears throat> this is our... In our replacement interface here this is what we've got it's supposed to work fine on our vehicle this is what we got to solder these are the wires that go into the back of the stereo right there okay so these are all going to get soldered to the ends of these now this then this will plug into the interface in one of these one of these right here oh. all right 
I'm not sure what this is for. Um, but all this plugs into here. This is the new chime. That's what's going to be making the bonging noise from now on. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm... Some of this stuff I may not use because it's for different applications. Like this is for the rear camera. I'm not going to need this because it doesn't have a factory rear camera. The camera we're going to be using is right here. As you can see, it's very small. There's my thumb. Almost covers the whole thing. It's very small. It will plug in the back of here. Right there where it says cam in. That's where that'll go. So we're not, you know, we won't be using this. Um, so, and these, these here are what's going to plug in to our wire harness from the vehicle that normally plugs in the stereo. Then these ends will also plug into here somewhere probably let's see I'm not exactly sure I gotta go over this I haven't read up on it yet um, so I gotta find out what goes where but the first thing I gotta do is solder all this stuff together see here's my chime this will plug in to here that plugs in there that's your chime um, so I'll, I'll you know I'll have to read up on this find out what's going on this is in a different antenna thing for different applications. I'm not sure what this one's going to take yet, but it goes right down in there. So, like I said, I haven't, I haven't really been able to check that out yet. I'm going to have to find out where those two wires went because um, that they're open. They're what I mean by that is they're they're not insulated like these. You know, there's no rubber on them. So anyway, so I gotta solder these up, get these put, you know, get these put together, and I'll have to, uh, of course, I'll put heat shrink on all these. I'm not gonna bore you with that because you just you just color code them, you know, white to white, gray to gray. It's very simple, you know. You got you got your pink, you got your red, you got your yellow. You just color code them. I'm just gonna twist these together, solder them, and put uh, put heat shrink on them. Then, like I said, this will get plugged in here somewhere. And I know this tape, set radio select switch before connecting vehicle harness. So I'll have to read up on that. I do know they put this tape over here so you know whether you uh, you know when you're when you plug it in that it's plugged in or something like that anyway um, here's where you you got to set your push that button in you have to turn this when we get to this I'll show you what I can of how to set this up for our vehicle so the chimes will work in the uh, the OnStar and all that now we don't have OnStar yet we're, we're considering getting it, but we're not sure if we will or not, but it's good to have everything working the way it's supposed to Like I said this These are not you know, I'm not going to be using these Okay, there's these are for an amp and this is for the rear camera Okay, so I'm not sure About this deal here I think You know this these would plug in here I'm not sure but anyway let me get let me get this sorted out read up on it a little bit and I'll be back with you okay one more thing real quick here's the steering wheel controls they give you but again it's not your OnStar is still not going to work your um, uh, your chimes are not going to work this is just only this will only work the stereo like I said, no OnStar or anything like that. So, I mean, that would be all right if you didn't care about that other stuff. But I want everything, you know, the way it's supposed to be. So I gave an extra hundred bucks for this this system here. So instead of having that, I don't even know how that's supposed to clamp on there. But it clamps around your steering wheel. And that now becomes your steering wheel controls. Cheap. Oh, oh my God. And it's plastic. It's just... Looks like it takes batteries.
and it does they don't even give you the batteries well it's a cheap stereo i understand that but my god come on guys this is this is crazy all right it does have a remote but you know there's what it looks like just a cheap it's not you know anything big time it's just a cheap mainly mainly so we can uh, use the backup camera the reason why I'm so into this backup camera is for backing that damn boat trailer when the boats not on there you cannot see that trailer so that'll help me backing down the ramp so all right let me read up on this stuff okay guys so I've got everything all taped up here like I said uh, I did use a uh, heat shrink on them um, I won't be using this that's for a, a mic port for your um, an external mic for your uh, OnStar but I've got mics up here from OnStar so <clears throat> this is for XM radio this is your chime alright so now what we're going to do it says to set this to 7 now what we're going to I got it set at 7 it's for other okay so let's go ahead we're going to plug this in we're going to get our these are these will only plug in one way so you can't you can't confuse them so What I mean is you can't you can't mix them up and hook them up backwards. So where's the other one here? Right there. Alright, now we're gonna plug this into the radio. Okay, so we're gonna use our Where's our antenna thing? We use our antenna thing here. We're we'll gonna plug that in there. This is gonna plug in to the radio where it says antenna. Then we're gonna plug, like I said, where I'm not gonna use this, so. And these, same way, you can't mix them up. They won't let you, so you'll be good to go that in there and then we're going to put red and red and white and white there we go now find the keys we'll turn the keys on or turn the ignition on see what happens here ignition's on okay got power to this and we got power to this. Okay. I can't do that. So let's uh let's see Bluetooth. Let's let's do one of my um one of my videos on here. Let's go to Bluetooth. Get that out of there. Bluetooth. Let's turn Bluetooth on here. There it is. It says it's connected. Cool. Now let's try. Oh, I'm going setting up Bluetooth here. There it is. Change Bluetooth on other devices yet.
All right, let me get this connected and then we'll check out other things. Look how I did was, I had it on OnStar, but I had to push the music thing I'm playing my my fish still I still don't know what why what's going on with the back speakers <laughs> those wires that was in here those are ground wires so but I think about the size of the last one but not the and it gives all the information there all right so let's Go ahead and get out of this. Let's go in here. All right, now what I want to do, I want to check my chimes. Where'd my chimes go? Yeah, I'm going to turn my chimes up, and we should have some bonging noise out of this little box right here. You got different settings. You can shut it off, have it on low, medium, or high. There's high. It's going to go up under there. Now, for some reason, this thing is not working with the buttons up here on the steering wheel. So... There's this stupid looking thing. Some reason this this thing ain't even changing the station. It's turning up and down, but it's not changing the station. Wait a minute, it's all movie, all right. And now it's changing the station, so that's cool. There's mute, but it does not work on the steering wheel for some reason. Now this is reading it. This is reading the steering wheel. I don't know if you can tell that light blinking. But it's reading the, the functions on the steering wheel, everything. But the radio is not responding to it. So, I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go get our in-dash mounting kit. And I'm going to try to figure out a way to put this stuff in here to where it's nice and tight. I'm not going to do the camera today. That'll be have to be another video because I'm not sure where it's going to go. It's kind of getting late right now. It's 4:30. It's hot. So anyway, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, like I said, this not getting hooked up. There's a little cover for this. I'm going to plug the cover in just so it doesn't, uh, you know touch anything that's not supposed to let me go get the mounting kit and i'll be right back with you okay this is messed up i'm always getting screwed when you look this stuff up you type in what kind of car you have 2010 chevrolet traverse and it'll come up whether it's an exact fit or not and right here it even says uh general motors multi kit 94 to 2012 and well for one this doesn't even fit the radio and two look at that you see that it nowhere near covers that up so i'm gonna have to send that back and uh return it because, well, number one, it's missing four screws. I opened it, but, um, yeah, it's this exact fit for this vehicle, but when I looked in the gap, in the guide here, it says 
it doesn't say anything about a traverse or equinox. And I see nothing in here where it goes up to 2012 on anything. They sent me the wrong damn thing. Jesus Christ. Alright. Yeah. That's what I ordered. This fits 2010 Chevrolet Traverse. Right there. So, yep, yeah, 94 to 2012, but I'm going to have to send that back because it does not fit this. So, you know, I'm not having big holes there. I want this to look factory. So now I've got to get a hold of them and send it back. So I'll let you know what happens. Okay, guys, so, yeah, I'm going to upload this anyway because that was a complete and utter fail. Um the uh i bought the uh interface you know so that would work on these volume controls on the steering wheel it works on onstar you know everything works except for that stereo so i'm going to send it back i know that has nothing to do with the rear speakers not working i'm going to have to trace that down find out what's wrong with that maybe they're just not hooked up in here maybe someone had a different system just didn't hook them back up I don't know so I've pulled the door panels off and check that but uh, if I have to you know I'll have to run new wires but yeah that's uh but you know you pay that kind of money I know it's only a hundred bucks with the mounting kit and everything but still it doesn't you know it's supposed to fit right in here I showed you it's in the green will fit the 2010 Chevy Traverse no it won't <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it'll mount it in there, but it's not, you know, it's not going to fill the gap, you know. So I'm going to have to find something different and go from there. That's the first time I ever had that issue. So, you know, already put in for a refund. I'll send them back tomorrow. That's ridiculous, man. You know, um, when you have those kind of issues. Also, by the way, if you have one, and you just get in a blue screen cut that pink wire and leave it off and that'll take care of it but so you know I was like okay no big deal there um, but man when the whole reason why you get it is so it can work properly like it's supposed to as if it was in the car you know that's why I like to do things I like to hook things up you know to where if it's got steering wheel controls it's going to work with steering wheel controls, but, you know, for some reason, it didn't. And, uh, it had, it had a setting that you go into that you were supposed to be able to adjust that, and it wouldn't do nothing. You hit the buttons, it wouldn't, wouldn't do anything, and it was supposed to set for each control. It didn't do it. So, I don't know if it was, you know, defective or what, but I'm going to call it defective when it's all in it did say that it is compatible with the uh which i'm keeping this because i know this works it's compatible it's supposed to be compatible with the rp5 gm31 it's supposed to be compatible with this and for some reason it wasn't working so whoops sorry so what i did I even tried to, because you can also set with that thing, you can also change what your buttons do on your steering wheel. Um, so, it wouldn't let me do none of that on that stereo. And I looked it up three times, and all three times it said it's compatible with that interface. So, and that's a pretty good interface. Um, how it was like a hundred bucks on its own, you know, tax and everything, so. But I will keep that because I know it's working because it worked on OnStar. You could turn the OnStar up and down, like, you know, when she starts talking to you. It would turn that up and down, and it made the buzzer, you know, the, the chimes work, like the backup, because it's got the backup sensors. They worked, you know, so it worked everything with that. The stereo wouldn't work with that. 
So I'm going to blame the stereo for that one. So I'm just going to send it back and the in-dash mounting kit back. And I'm going to see what I can find that I know is going to fit in this vehicle. So, you know, maybe I'll just get the one that's supposed to be in here. Buy it off a of GM, I don't know. But, yeah, you know, that's some of the stuff you run into, you know, that, you know what I mean? That just, uh just got to deal with sometimes so I was sitting here finishing my cigarette in the air um, so there we go complete fail <laughs> that one's coming through the speaker alright guys thanks for watching appreciate it Shea Bear the Mint the Man legend I'm gone for now bye bye guys and take care